Jesus people! I do not know! <laughs> Alright, first of all, that is a little too loud, but... I'm going to situate these first. Just turn these down a little bit. Okay. We are back for more resident. I mean, what? <laughs> wow. I probably should just quit now and go to sleep. We are back for more Metal Gear Solid 2. I almost could have begun by saying 4. I caught Snake, but it didn't save for some reason. It's possible, but... I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't want to do it either. Okay, maybe I can get... That looks like Mickey James. Or one of those divas. Wait, I can't put my finger on it. But... You're currently using art. Oh yeah, that might have been something I should have listened to. Oh well. Colonel, do the terrorists have a Harrier? Yes. An AV... Mm. Alright, well, whatever. I'm not gonna waste time on that. However, I can... I, I can do this, though. It's possible. Maybe I have to go meet Stillman first. Colonel, who are... Asks who are dead cell. Well, that's also the men's bathroom. I just remembered. This is the uh, <clears throat> place you shouldn't be. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know <laughs> what that place is? Uh, I just thought maybe the bomb disposal instructor might be in there. Why would he be in there? Well, you never know. He's a wall, and even a wall, a normal guy wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom. You're the only one I know who would. You're like really strange. Rosemary, settle down. But, but it's all right. Right. Rosemary is right. You should probably look someplace else. I can really sympathize with you there, though. What, sir? What? Uh, nothing. Right. That's that. Return to your duties. Mm -hmm. You guys um. are unbelievable. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Colonel, who exactly is that woman? Her name is Fortune. She leads Dead Cell. Hang on a moment. I'll look her up for you. <laughs> Alright, um... So yeah, I don't have... For whatever reason, I don't have, a uh, Snake. There's this shit right there. Th I was gonna say something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, so I don't have to wait for him. I was gonna say, um... Someone was in here, but he ain't a normal guy, so... You can rule that out, I guess. I could go get me some snacks. This is gonna be a while. Freeze! Don't shoot. <sighs> you a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. That, that makes him all sound like that he somehow killed them all. He's like. Oh, Did I tell you you can move watch. Watch. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. Are you sni I mean, Pliskin? What's your name? My name is Peter. <clears throat> Peter Stillman. 
the bomb Lecture at Nav Scoliot, Indian head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. I'll be back. The poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retire. I don't think I, I'm not going to be needed for a while, so. <laughs> I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous oh. church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer. <laughs> An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the CLP EOD squad. Yep. So we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hang Hold on. on. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Mm -hmm. oh, no, it's, it's there are more anymore. important issues at hand, right? Hard. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. No. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Oh, no. Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it will stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, <laughs> under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. 
It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In mm -hmm. other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your sensor. eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man I know well. Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signature? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the clone he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. <gasps> Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. <laughs> I'm activated. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of a C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use the system. Log into <sighs> the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility. And if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target? You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Mm -hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. Take this. <laughs> this security card mm -hmm. issued to shell personnel the big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance the clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors writing your card key can open doors for security clearance level one Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas you needed to get next door to shell two how did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. Uh, no. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. Uh this is a dangerous one.
who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. I never I noticed it, but the character is slightly jolt when they talk. They, they kind of no move steel. slightly. The, the whole body moves. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in there, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. <clears throat> Alright. I know I can, uh, I know I can go to the, to get that bomb, but I won't do that right now. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go in a minute. surprise raids on vital government facilities, didn't they? Yes. They were originally put together to Whatever. check the nation's military security system. The unit Probably, was the brainchild yeah. of ex-president George Sears. Probably, yeah. Dead Cell was a secret unit positioned I at agree. the opposite end of anti-terrorist outfits such as Delta Force and SEALs. Probably, yeah. Were they always a group of madmen? Yeah. No. They got weird when Colonel Jackson, Fortune's husband, was sent to jail. Sent to jail? For what? corruption. He misappropriated government funds. Sounds like he deserved it. That's what everybody else thought, except for the members of Dead Cell. They felt the colonel was falsely accused. 
Fact is, they took the case to the powers that be, but they never managed to reopen the case. Was there any truth to their claim? Who knows? Whatever the situation is, Dead Cell's name was tainted. And Colonel Jackson? He was being held at Leavenworth. Was? Meaning he's been released? Well, in a manner of speaking, the Colonel's dead. Oh. Apparently, he lost the will to live and died in prison. The members of Dead Cell snapped with the loss of their leader. They underwent a radical change and became uncontrollable. And that's why they undertook this terrorist operation. Seems as good a reason as any. Oh, Lord. Vamp is a member of Dead Cell. Born in Romania, his specialty is knives. But I guess you know that by now. When he was just a kid, he lost his family to a terrorist bomb that went off in a church they were attending. His body pierced by a crucifix, Vamp was buried under the rubble for two days before he was finally rescued. During those two days, he survived by feeding on the blood of his family to quench his thirst. That was how he acquired a taste for blood. So that's why they call him Vamp. No, Vamp isn't for vampire, it's because he's bisexual. What? Rumor has it, Vamp was the lover of Scott Dolph, the Marine Commandant who accidentally died two years ago. Scott Dolph was also the father of Fortune, the Dead Cell leader. Fortune's old man? But Fortune and Vamp? Uh, you noticed, eh? Not bad for a rookie. All right. As you say, Vamp and Fortune are very close. Not lovers, but very close. Friends? No, there's more to their relationship than that. But Vamp was her father's lover. Would it have been better if it was with her mother? Well... I don't really think they care what you think. Focus on the mission. You told me By the way, have you ever met the guy before? No. But he seemed to know you. Right. Well, I... No. It can't be. What? Nothing. I told you the Dead Cell is a group of madmen. I wouldn't take anything they say very seriously. You told me to get on with the mission. I mean, while you're talking for an hour about... What do you know about that strange woman? You mean Fortune? She's the Dead Cell leader. Her real name is her. Helena Dolph Jackson, known to her friends Helena. as Lady Luck. Lady Luck? Yeah, she got the name because bullets seemed to veer away from her in battle. Oh. People have heard her say that her fortune in battle was payback for the lousy luck she's had in life. Lousy luck? The death of her father, the Marine Commander, the conviction of husband and Dead Cell leader, Colonel Jackson. These events were followed by her mother's suicide, the loss of a husband, and the idea of a convict in the family apparently took her over the edge. Fortune was three months pregnant at the time, and the shock of her mother's death led to the loss of her child. Add to this her husband's death in prison a few months later, and to sum it up, in the six months after her father's death, she lost her family and everything that mattered in her life. Jeez, she's had it rough. Yeah. The thing is, she didn't grieve long. Instead, she joined the military. Now why is that? Do I look psychic? My best guess is revenge. I heard that she firmly believed that her husband was framed. Anyway, by the time she came out of basic training, she'd proven many times over that she was gifted with an unusual streak of luck. In fact, some say she sold her soul for it. Her soul? Her uncanny luck earned her a reputation that led to her appointment as the head of her husband's unit, Dead Cell. <laughs> fat Man. Supposedly, he's nicknamed after an atomic bomb, but to me, he's just a fat man. Something straight out of a sideshow. If he even has a bit of spare time, he spends it disassembling and assembling his Glock over and over again. He can't stand to have his hands still. He's extremely vain about his hands, keeps his fingers as slender and soft as a woman's. They say he's always looking at his hands, giving himself manicures. Okay. Bliskin, I saw someone wearing a cardboard <laughs> box just now. A box? I don't know anything about that. You sure you weren't imagining things? Of course I'm sure. Do you think it's one of the members of Dead Cell? How should I know? I don't want to fight someone like that. Why not? Because it looks so dumb. Anyone who's willing to be seen like that must be completely insane. I mean, he's a psycho. There's no question about it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Pliskin, what do you know about Stillman? He's a bomb disposal expert. Probably the best in the world. What else? What do you mean? Like why he retired. Are you here to gossip? No. Then get back to work defusing those C4s. If there's something you need to know about Stillman, go ask him yourself. Pliskin, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team's been wiped out. Is that right? Is that all you have to say? I thought they were your comrades. Yeah, too bad. Too bad? Did you know they were used as a decoy to support my infiltration? No, but it doesn't surprise me. Man, you are cold. They were your friends. What do you want me to say? That you killed them? Or do you want me to say it wasn't your fault? Oh, I just... Listen, kid, I don't have time to wet nurse you or provide you with a shoulder to cry on. You got a problem with your conscience, you take care of it. Don't bother me. Jesus, Nate. Fliskin, you seemed pretty focused on the Navy captain. Something catch your eye? Yeah. Remember the handcuffs were cut? There was something on the other end of that. Do you know what it was? Well, I... No. Forget it. What do you mean, forget it? Just what I said. Forget it. I... Talk to you later, kid. <laughs> There's a surveillance camera. Don't stray into its sight. Stay out of the camera's field of vision. There's a blind spot right underneath the unit. Flatten yourself against the wall and move forward. Or just do that, and now we're back later. That's what I wanted, but Snake wanted to be difficult.
This is Raiden. Disposal of the C4 in strut D is complete. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? Get real. He couldn't have overlooked the Definitely fact that I would be not. called into this. There's something going on. Well done. It looks like there are no more bombs in that strike. About this bomb, it's been placed in a somewhat strange location. Agreed. It doesn't make sense. Not for him, anyway. You sound like you've got everything figured out. That's because I do. Whatever! I know exactly how his mind works. Whatever! Stillman, tell me something about Batman. Well, to start, he was born the son of a clockmaker, neglected by his parents and without friends. It seems that he spent a lot of time by himself in his father's workshop. Maybe that was the reason, I'm not sure, but... Apparently, he has had a tremendous fascination with clock mechanics since he was a child. It was at the age of 10 that a guidebook that he found on the internet changed his life forever. That guidebook served as a basis of his eventually piecing together an atomic bomb. It was from there that he came to be known as Fat Man. And soon enough, there was no one associated with bombs that didn't know his name. In a sense, Fat Man was a hero. Although what he did was recognized only by those in the trade, I'm sure that it served to greatly stir the ego of a teenage boy at the center of it all. But he leaves his mark nowhere else. Apparently he was hated and shunned by everyone in school. So he went on to focus all his energy on explosives. He scorned the reality that surrounded him and instead chose to embrace a world that would easily grant him recognition. Well, to be sure, it never amounted to anything more than, say occasionally bringing a gun into school. Eventually, Fat Man came to Indian Head, the exercise training facilities of the Naval School Explosive Ordnance Disposal at which I was a lecturer. He absorbed all kinds of knowledge, as if he hungered for bombs. Close to 20% of the students at Indian Head flunked out of what is truly a hellish curriculum. Despite this environment, he achieved extraordinarily high marks that were without precedent. After leaving Indian Head, he joined up with NASA, said to be the most accomplished bomb disposal unit. It was there that he apparently got into some trouble. What exactly? You got me. The fat man was definitely not cut out for group operations from the very start. Having been ousted from Nest, he was picked up by Dead Cell, which was already becoming notorious for being a motley crew of sorts. It seems that it was through surprise attack maneuvers later conducted by Dead Cell that Fat Man completely subdued his former companions from Nest. While being the most peculiar individual among my students, he was also the most talented. Be sure not to underestimate him. Are we clear? Stillman, I heard you made quite a name for yourself in the bomb disposal field. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. It's only that you never hear people bad about retirees. Why did you retire? I forgot. At any rate, rather than dwelling on past occurrences, well, shouldn't we focus on taking care of the pressing issue currently at hand? True enough. I'll get back to work. I forgot, bitch. You don't forget why you retire. Alright, well... Somebody there.
I didn't know about this for a long time and then I, I either read about it or I discovered it somehow. I just did it and I'm like, what the hell? They I read it in a book. One of the magazines I was talking about. What is this? I forget what this is. Oh, it's the digital camera. Cause I don't think he has the camera. Yeah, he actually doesn't have a camera like Snake. So, um, Raiden gets the digital camera, which I don't know what's different about that. I don't know. See. Here, uh, as you see, it'll take you to uh, this location, because that's where the box goes. But, if you were to, uh, I can't see that at all, I just have a, no, well, it's probably ammo I don't really need, uh, but if you were to get another box, you can um, fast travel to any of the other struts. As long as you know what um, box, uh, what area of the box is going to take you, you can um, fast travel to that, that area. I never really used it, but it can be handy. Well, that's also an area you want to get to by doing that, but just now. put that later. Ninja. It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Hold on. Are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! 
you must be one of dead cell. Of course not. What I think to say. Drop your gun! <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. And she's just gone. Vito, not a trace. Just out of there. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've, I've been briefed. briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know from experience. What? Never mind. Raiden, another C4 down. There was one planted pretty high up on the ceiling. The coolant spray couldn't reach that far, so I had to get yeah, up on a real. stand to do it. Do they have any more uh, information for me? Right, Stillman is a top. No I don't care. Oh, you're gonna do. You're gonna do. Um. I see a lot of birds over there. The tanker accident two years ago released crude oil containing massive quantities of endocrine disruptors. The fish that absorbed them were then eaten by seagulls, which further concentrated the endocrine disruptors in their bodies. What sort of outcome this will lead to is still currently under review and is yet unclear. It just goes to show that finishing the cleanup of ocean oil spills does not mean that environmental restoration efforts end there as well. Yeah. Uh. Colonel, what do you know about that female soldier, Olga? Olga Gerlukovich. Just like that guy said, she commands a Russian like fly army. Do you know anything else? Anything else? Yeah, anything else. Why are you concerned about her anyway? You know. Jack? Yeah, no, 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 it's not, not like that. that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll look into her for you. Good luck. I guess I'll just wait a little bit longer for any information. Freeze! Huh? I don't know how he doesn't. What are you? Oops, wrong button. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I like how I can swap weapons when I am going. Huh? Uh, but I don't know how they can't hear the footsteps and shit. Come on. Can I, um, call them and have them answer me? Like, hey, if I'm the bomb, defuse it! Right. That's a Harrier too, you see. Oh, yeah. There. That's what shot down the seal chopper? That's right. Unfortunately, the weapons you have at the moment aren't up to the task of neutralizing this plane. Leave it alone. Really? I didn't fucking know that. Turtle. I just saw this guy go running by wearing <laughs> a, cardboard a cardboard box. Who do you think he was? A dead cell? The dead cells are a bunch of weirdos, that's for sure. But they don't wear cardboard boxes. I'll look into it. I'm counting on you. I don't know if I ever found out about that or not. From her. Make doubly sure you stay out. Doubly. Um... That's a tranquilizer gun with a sound system. Yeah. Ryden, don't ever turn your back on that Olga woman. Olga Gerlukovich, daughter of Colonel Sergei Gerlukovich, ex Gru and former Spetsnaz commander. She's the leader of Colonel Gerlukovich's private army that's been wandering around the big shell. <gasps> Those oh, men whoops. were gathered by Colonel Gerlukovich. Following his death, she inherited his command and now exercises full control. Her father's name was widely respected throughout the old Soviet regime, and he was the goal of just about every military man. 
Why would a respected soldier become a leader of those cutthroats? The collapse of the Republic resulted in a lot of unemployed soldiers. Most found themselves suddenly cast out into the civilian world, hopelessly lost. The Colonel took these men in. He organized a mercenary army and led his men from battle to battle in various disputed regions around the world, hoping that one day he would rebuild his homeland. Rumor has it that during the Shadow Moses incident, he planned a rendezvous with Liquid Snake's men and assist in their uprising. I assume that the revolt figured into his reconstruction plans for the Soviet regime. I also heard that Ocelot, Liquid's right-hand man, was an old friend of the Colonel's back in the old days of the Soviet Union. In any case, Olga inherited her father's military genius and has become a force to be reckoned with. She was born and raised on the battlefield, and she's as tough as she looks. Not my ideal choice for a date. You sound like you've met her. No, I haven't had the pleasure. Just remember what I said. Don't turn your back on her. Alright, well, Stillman might... Uh... Oh, oh yeah, there's a little bomb. Now sometimes, like right now, they ain't gonna say anything about it. So if you just walk away, then I don't think nothing will be said about it. You have to call Light it in. Here. 